what you eat can indeed impact how your joints feel. Certain foods might quietly be contributing to your joint pain without you realizing it. Today, let's explore this connection between your diet and joint discomfort. We'll uncover the foods that might be secretly aggravating your joint pain and suggest healthier alternatives that could help you lead a life free from that frustrating discomfort. So, buckle up and get ready to seize control of your health, one bite at a time. Number 1. Soda and other sugary beverages, while delightful on the taste buds, can actually betray your joint health. These fizzy drinks are like frenemies, appealing but potentially causing trouble behind the scenes. They're loaded with sugar, which can spark inflammation in your body. Inflammation, like health gossip, starts quietly but can spread, leading to joint pain and stiffness. But hold on, there's more to the soda story. These sugary drinks don't just stop at joint discomfort, they bring a whole bunch of health issues. The extra weight gain from daily soda habits puts more pressure on your joints, especially the knees. It's like inviting joint pain to a party you didn't even plan on hosting. Moreover, these drinks can mess with your body's insulin resistance, potentially causing type 2 diabetes, an unwelcome guest crashing your health party. Picture sugar as that guest who messes up the dance floor, except here, it's your arteries, leading to heart diseases, turning your heart's rhythm into chaos. Oh, and let's not overlook your teeth. Soda's acidity is like a hungry teenager raiding the fridge, but here, it's your enamel it's after. It's not a pretty sight, trust me. So, next time you're eyeing that can of soda, remember, it might seem all smiles and bubbles, but it's plotting against your joints and overall health. Maybe it's time to uninvite soda from your daily routine and welcome some healthier options to the party. Number 2. White bread, that soft and fluffy staple, might be a cozy companion at the breakfast table, but if you're dealing with joint pain, it's worth reconsidering this cuddly carb. White bread is crafted from refined grains, and much like an overeager barber, the refining process removes all the good stuff. What you're left with is a product lacking in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It's like the soul has been taken out of the bread, leaving a somewhat hollow loaf. The absence of fiber gives white bread a high glycemic index. It's the thrill seeker of the food world, causing rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, akin to a roller coaster ride. But like any wild ride, what goes up must come down, leading to an energy crash leaving you more sluggish than a snail in a slow-motion race. Regarding your joints, this swift increase in blood sugar levels prompts the body to produce pro-inflammatory molecules called cytokines. Think of them as rowdy neighbors throwing a party in your body, inviting inflammation along. It's definitely not the kind of party your joints want to attend. Inflammation from these cellular shenanigans can lead to pain and stiffness in your joints. White bread loves to stick around, not just to your taste buds but to your waistline too. Without the whole grains to keep things moving, it's like the bread settling in for a long winter's nap on your hips. With all the good stuff removed, eating too much white bread is like attending a party with no entertainment. It fills you up but leaves you unfulfilled, potentially leading to deficiencies in essential nutrients. And let's not forget about your digestive system. Without fiber, white bread might leave you feeling a bit, shall we say, backed up. It's like a traffic jam on the gastrointestinal highway. So, the next time you're eyeing that slice of white bread, remember that it might be time to part ways with this fluffy friend. Whole grains are the way to go, offering fiber and nutrients in a hearty handshake to your joints rather than a slap in the face. Number 3. Margarine, the smooth and spreadable hero of breakfast toasts, has been promoted as a heart-healthy substitute for butter. However, for those grappling with joint pain, this yellow imposter might not be what it seems. Let's unwrap the truth about it. First and foremost, margarine is typically made from vegetable oils and often contains trans fats. Think of trans fats as the rebellious teens in the dietary world. They break the rules and can trigger inflammation in the body. For your joints, this inflammation is like a never-ending rock concert, loud, chaotic, and more than a little painful. Why the fuss about trans fats? Well, these fats in margarine are like auto-tune in pop music. They might make things appear smooth and harmonious, but beneath the surface, they're hiding some serious discord. Trans fats increase LDL, bad cholesterol, and decrease HDL, good cholesterol, bringing along uninvited guests like inflammation and joint pain. These trans fats in margarine can lead you down a path of heart disease, clogging your arteries like a traffic jam on a holiday weekend. 
Additionally, margarine's trans fats might hinder your body's insulin response, making it as sluggish as a Monday morning without coffee. This sets the stage for insulin resistance and potentially type 2 diabetes. Moreover, margarine often contains omega-6 fatty acids. Yet, an excess of omega-6 without its counterpart, omega-3, can cause an imbalance, much like having too many cooks in the kitchen, resulting in a recipe for inflammation. So, the next time you're spreading that golden layer on your toast, remember that margarine might not be the knight in shining armor it pretends to be. It might have a buttery taste, but it could leave a bitter aftertaste in your joints. Perhaps it's time to consider alternatives like olive oil or avocado spreads, which, unlike margarine, aren't hiding behind a mask of misinformation. After all, even toast deserves honesty in its relationships. Number 4. Beef, often the star of barbecues and the heart of dinner plates, can be a meat lover's delight. However, if your joints are singing the blues, it might be time to scrutinize this bovine favorite. Before we start beefing about beef, it's crucial to note that not all cuts and types are the same. We're specifically addressing the fatty, processed, and grain-fed varieties. Grain-fed beef tends to have higher omega-6 fatty acids compared to its grass-fed counterpart. Omega-6 isn't necessarily the villain, but when it arrives in excessive amounts without the balancing act of omega-3, it's like a seesaw with only one kid on it. Things get unbalanced and inflammatory. For those with joint pain, this imbalance feels as off as wearing mismatched shoes, leading to increased inflammation. It's a fashion faux pas for the body, metaphorically speaking. Saturated fats and beef might delight your taste buds but can fill your arteries with cholesterol. It's like inviting too many guests to a party and blocking the entrance, resulting in an unhappy heart and an ungraceful dance floor. Rich, fatty cuts of beef can be like an overstuffed suitcase on a vacation, hard to carry around. Your digestive system might struggle with it, leading to discomfort and bloating. Speaking a bit beyond the dinner plate, the way beef is produced can also impact our planet negatively. It's akin to a house guest eating all your food and leaving all the lights on. Moreover, those rich, fatty cuts of beef might contribute more than just flavor. They could add pounds to your body. It's like an unexpected gift with an unwanted bonus baggage. So, what's the solution? It doesn't have to be an all-or-nothing approach. Opting for leaner cuts, choosing grass-fed options, or simply reducing the frequency of beef intake can make a difference. It's like adjusting the volume on your neighbor's loud music. You can still enjoy the beat without the booming bass disrupting your peace, or in this case, your joint's harmony. In the culinary concert of life, beef can play a delicious tune, but moderation and mindful choices could be the keys to keeping your joints happily dancing. Number 5. Wheat. The backbone of our bread, the cornerstone of our cereals, and the primary ingredient in pasta, is virtually everywhere, much like that catchy tune that sticks in your head. However, for some individuals, especially those with sensitivities or intolerances, wheat might be part of the less-than-pleasant melody their joints have been playing lately. Not everyone needs to stage an intervention with wheat, but for some, particularly those sensitive to gluten, a protein found in certain wheat products, it can trigger an inflammatory response. For joints, this might feel like hosting an unwanted house party each time you indulge in that morning toast or spaghetti dinner. The inflammatory response to wheat and gluten can vary, creating discomfort and leading to digestive issues like bloating and gas. Imagine Sherlock Holmes investigating a crime scene, the plot thickens, and discomfort sets in. Wheat sensitivity might extend beyond the digestive system, impacting the skin with rashes or irritation akin to wearing a wool sweater on a hot summer day. Some individuals even report feeling foggy or unfocused after consuming wheat, like trying to navigate a maze while wearing sunglasses at night. Moreover, certain processed and refined wheat products could contribute to weight gain, resembling packing for a weekend trip and ending up with luggage for a month. Fortunately, the food world has adapted, offering numerous wheat-free alternatives. From almond flour pancakes to quinoa pasta, there are options to enjoy your favorites without the unwanted side effects. In the grand theater of food, wheat might have been a star, but if it's casting a shadow on your health, it might be time to audition new alternatives. After all, your body deserves a performance that leaves it feeling nourished, not acting up. Number 6. Bacon and sausages. The sizzling morning serenade and the aroma that can rival the loudest alarm clock, they're the dynamic duo of breakfast, 
the savory saviors of snack time. However, if your joints have been feeling a bit like an old creaky door lately, it might be worth investigating what's cooking in that skillet. Now, don't get me wrong, bacon and sausages are culinary delights, but they might be part of the story when it comes to aching joints. Here's the deal, these meats are often processed with additives, preservatives, and a generous amount of salt. They're akin to that friend who overdoes the perfume, overwhelming and sometimes irritating. For some, this irritation could translate to inflammation in the body, particularly when it comes to omega-6 fatty acids. These processed meats might be hosting a party for these fatty acids, potentially leading to imbalance and inflammation, causing your joints to decline the invitation. And then there's the salt. Oh, the salt. It's like adding extra snow to an already heavy winter storm. Too much salt can result in water retention and increased blood pressure, leaving your joints feeling swollen and your heart working harder, a double feature that nobody signed up for. Let's not overlook the cholesterol content. Bacon and sausages often come packed with saturated fats, potentially leading to higher cholesterol levels. It's akin to having too many cars on the highway, congestion and issues down the road. There's also the impact on your waistline. These processed meats might harbor hidden sugars and fats, contributing to unexpected weight gain, and it's like receiving a surprise bill after a free trial. Nobody wants that extra weight. However, in the world of breakfast meats, if chosen wisely, there are leaner, healthier options available. Seek products with minimal additives, lower salt content, and quality ingredients. It's like finding a golden ticket in a sea of lottery tickets. I'm not saying you have to break up with bacon and sausages forever, but it might be time to redefine the relationship. Your joints might thank you with a sigh of relief, and your overall health might just write you a love letter. So, the next time you're at the breakfast table pondering the eternal question of bacon or not bacon, consider the implications. Sometimes, a delicious detour might lead to a delightful discovery, and your joints might join you in a happy dance instead. Number 7 cheese and full-fat milk, the darlings of dairy that have graced our tables in sandwiches and coffee cups, whether it's a sharp cheddar, a velvety brie, or a creamy glass of whole milk. These delights have filled our taste buds with joy. However, if your joints have been complaining like a squeaky wheel, it might be wise to hold off on the cheese and switch to skim. Before we churn up any trouble, let's closely examine why these dairy products might be a bit concerning. For some, cheese and full-fat milk are akin to that plush, overstuffed armchair, so comfortable but challenging to get out of. They're rich in saturated fats, which can lead to inflammation in some folks. Your joints might feel like they're stuck in that chair, protesting the discomfort. Moreover, if you're lactose intolerant, indulging in these dairy delights might trigger more than just joint discomfort. It could lead to digestive drama complete with bloating, gas, and dreaded diarrhea. It's like a soap opera in your stomach, and no one wants to tune in for that episode. Cheese and full-fat milk can be calorie-dense, akin to packing a suitcase for a weekend getaway and realizing you've packed for a month. If you're mindful of your weight to alleviate joint pain, you might want to reconsider carrying that dairy baggage. Additionally, these full-fat favorites might contribute to higher cholesterol levels. It's like adding more cars to a traffic jam. Your arteries and you certainly don't need that congestion. Now, let's not put dairy on trial without a fair hearing. Not all cheeses and milk are created equal. There are lower fat and lactose-free options that might still let you enjoy that cheesy grin without the joint grimace. Consider this a culinary adventure, an expedition to explore alternatives. Perhaps it's time to meet goat cheese or embrace almond milk. It's like going on a blind date with a new dish, and you might just fall in love. In the great dairy debate, knowledge is your power and choices are your superpower. Your joints don't have to engage in a war with the cheese board or the creamer. With savvy selections and mindful moderation, you can still enjoy the dance with dairy without stepping on your toes. Remember, life's too short to say no to cheese, but it's also too precious to ignore what makes you feel good. Listen to your body. Number 8. Beer and Wine The bubbly stars of backyard barbecues and elegant dinners alike. They've been the life of celebrations, gatherings, or just a regular Tuesday evening. However, if your joints have been sending out warning signals lately, it might be worth reconsidering how often you raise your glass. Let's uncork this topic and dive into the details. Beer and wine aren't necessarily the villains in the mystery of aching joints, 
but they might play a supporting role. Beer, for instance, contains purines, which can convert into uric acid in the body. Too much uric acid can lead to irritations like gout, which feels like a rave going on in your joints, certainly not the kind of party you'd want to attend. Then there's the gluten factor in some beers. For those sensitive to it, gluten might trigger joint pain, creating an uncomfortable situation, much like bringing a cat to a dog party. Wine, often seen as the more sophisticated sibling in the beverage family, might contain sulfites that cause inflammation in some people. It's similar to adding too much spice to a dish. It might leave a bad taste in your mouth or, in this case, a bad feeling in your joints. Calories are also a concern with beer and wine. They can add up, much like those surprise extra charges on a hotel bill. If you're managing your weight to alleviate joint pain, these liquid luxuries might not fit the budget. And then there's the alcohol itself. While it may seem like the life of the party, excessive consumption can lead to dehydration, liver problems, addiction, and various other health concerns. It's like overstaying your welcome at the party. It can lead to things going downhill fast. However, before you stash away those bottles, remember that moderation is often the key. It's like discovering a hidden treasure in your own pantry. But like any treasure hunt, it's crucial to have a map and perhaps a guide. Consult with your healthcare provider, understand your body, and navigate the landscape of beer and wine with awareness. You might find that the path to comfort and enjoyment doesn't have to be a rocky road. So, the next time you're raising a toast to good times, consider your joints and maybe opt for that toast with a glass of sparkling water or a mocktail. Your joints might just thank you for it. And there you have it, friends, the grand menu of foods to approach with caution if your joints are playing a not-so-sweet symphony. From the fizz of sodas to the sizzle of bacon and the clink of wine glasses, we've dined our way through the culinary culprits that might be behind those creaky, aching joints. But don't let this turn into a tale of foodie fright. Your plate doesn't have to be a battleground, it can still be a canvas of color, flavor, and joy. With a sprinkle of knowledge, a dash of creativity, and a generous helping of guidance from healthcare professionals, you can cook up a feast that satisfies your taste buds without upsetting your joints. Cheers to healthier, happier dining, remember, the kitchen is your kingdom, and you're the master chef. You hold the power to whip up wellness and satisfaction in your own unique way. Listen to your body's wisdom and don't hesitate to experiment with new flavors, textures, and ingredients. Who knows, your next favorite dish might be just a recipe away. So, the next time you're at the grocery store, view it as an adventurous journey rather than a chore. Let your cart be your chariot, guiding you toward choices that not only nourish your body but also support your joints. And if you find yourself reaching for that cheese, remember, there's a whole world of dairy delights waiting to dance with you just waiting for the right partner. Thank you for joining us on this culinary cruise through the do's and don'ts for joyful joints. If this feast of facts has piqued your appetite for more, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more delicious insights. Happy cooking and here's to your joint health!